It might not be your cup of tea, but it's the cup of tea of North Macedonia. They've been waiting for the debut and it's coming up against Austria. We'll talk about it next. That's right, folks, back once again with another five-minute preview. This time looking forward to Nostra up against North Macedonia out of Group C. And we'll talk about that in just one second. Of course, make sure you bang your thumbs up, bang your subscribe, bang the little bell so you don't miss a beat. Euro 2020 coverage right here. So here we go, boys and girls. Of course, it's the debut North Macedonia, and we're looking forward to it. Up against a very, very difficult Austria, managed by Franco Volder these days. Aglo Angliowski is the manager for North Macedonia. The match will take place on the 13th of June at the National Arena in Bucharest. So, of course, to take a little look at these two nations and how they got to this stage over in Euro 2020. Of course, Austria, of course, finished as Group G runners-up back in uh, 16th November 2019. This is their third Euros, of course, back in 2008, and of course, uh, last round back in 2016. Currently ranked 23rd in the world, uh, according to FIFA. Uh, of course, their record of the resume heading into this, of course, Macedonia right here, right now. Then it's the Dutchies on the 17th of June before they wrap up their three-peat up against Ukraine on the 21st of June. This is a must-win game for Austria. As the North Macedonia, it's more of a just see how where they get the point from really, of course, no one's expecting North Macedonia to do very, very well. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be looking to get points off of these teams, whether they come at them uh, in the first game or whether it comes in the second or when it comes in the third. Of course, we'll take a look at the 26 man squad for the Austrians, and shall we? Of course, some familiar names, of course, David Alaba at the back joining Real Madrid this coming summer. Hinteranger, of course, makes up this pair partnership at the back. Reina, of course, from uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach, alongside uh, Lazaro as well, Sabitza. Of course, well, former West Ham player Art Snautovic uh, leading the charge for the uh, Austrians, of course. Uh, this is the lineup. I've gone with the 4-3-3 for this one. Uh, Purvan between the sticks. Ulmer at left back. Lehner at right back. Alaba and Hinterlinger make up your back four with Bautlinger or Bautgartlinger. Of course, Lehmer and Sabitza make up a very, very good, uh, very conservative midfield with Art Snautovic, Grigatish and Lazaro up top. It is exciting. They have enough quality, especially to win this game, not only to compete uh, for the top two honours over in this group. Of course, North Macedonia will be in their way. Uh, uh, Igor Alagolovsky is the man pulling the strings back behind the scenes. And they did manage to get through this uh, to, to the tournament via the playoff. Path D winners, of course. They managed to do that on the 12th of November, a year later than pretty much everybody else. And this is, of course, the second debutante we've seen already. Of course, Finland with the first. These are the second. And they're currently ranked 62 in the world. And they're, of course, a record or resume for their for their uh, journey. Austria right here, right now. That's the Ukraines on the 17th of June before they wrap it up up against the Netherlands on the 21st of June. Take a look at the 26-man squad then for you for the Masters for North Macedonia, and it is, of course, a who's who from North Macedonia. Of course, everybody's favourite. A lot of these people were not in the game of FIFA, as you can tell. I'll have to make them up as I go along. Of course, some of the fame, the names are, of course, Ilmas uh, from Napoli. Bit of a player as well. We've got Goran Pandev, of course, the legend uh, that he is. And, of course, uh, Alioski, of course, for Leeds. Um, a familiar face as well. So, Luke Crazy. This is my start 11. Again, bit of a bit of a lucky draw here. Uh, we've got Dibachevsky between the sticks. Alioski at left-back. Rostovsky at right-back. Sashkov and Adebi in the midfit in uh, centre-backs there. Uh, Churinov on the left, we've got Bardi on the right. He definitely plays, he definitely plays, and he's probably one of the better players, if not the best player. Uh, we've got Elmas in the middle alongside Trakowski as well, alongside Pandev, uh, the goal scoring record, appearance making legend. That is, of course, uh, the Genoa ledge as well, and Stoczowski up top. Okay, so the record between these two sides, of course, play each other just twice over the years, of course, going in favour of Austria. Two wins out of two, uh, zero draws across the board. And of course, they've scored six goals in total over North Macedonia in, that, in those two matches, and of course, a two goal return. Some Bobby Daz, as I'm sure, of course, four. One win was the highest. Uh, picking up a three goals a, a, a game ratio over North Macedonia. That is the Austrians on the flip side. They got a one goal a game ratio, North Macedonia. So they've, they've played twice and they've scored at least two goals over them over the course of time. Of course, um, North Macedonia head into this with 58% success rate, winning three of the past six games, both friendlies, uh, competitive matches as well. On the flip side, Austria coming to this with a 67% success rate, winning three and just losing the once a couple of draws along the way. Uh, of course, let's take a little look at those games. Of course, they were European qualifying campaign matches uh, for of course, Burak in 2019. Uh, of course, Austria picking up back-to-back -back wins, both in Austria and North Macedonia, and again, not too long ago either. Of course, take a quick look at the group. It does look like this. Uh, of course, Austria, uh, of course, uh, joined by North Macedonia and Netherlands, and of course, the Ukraine. I did a poll on the channel, of course, uh, out of the 200 odd votes, 76% uh, have gone with Austria, 20% have got with North Macedonia, and 5% with the draw. As for me, boys and girls, what have we going on this one? Of course, it is everybody's favourite match, and I'm looking forward to this one as well. I do anticipate the Austrians to have just enough to get over the line with a 3 
points. And I'm not saying that's game over for North Macedonia. That's the beauty of this one. A third place can get you, of course, get through to the knockout stages. They'll just need to pick up points against the Dutch, against the Ukraine, which I don't I don't think it's not impossible. I think we'll just have to give it a go. Surely you let me know in the comment section what you think about this, these two, who you think will be coming out on top, who do you think uh, will be going through to the next round down below. And of course, be sure to give the video some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe, check out the links, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, all that stuff. And I'll see you soon for another one next time.